let's create our very first Java FX application. A very small code example. It's based on this tutorial that you can find on jfxcentral.com. Uh, it's how you create your first Java FX application. The source code is also available on GitHub. This is a very uh, big project with a lot of examples, but today in this video, we're just going to look into the basic GUI.java. So GUI being a graphical user interface. Now I already checked out this whole project. I have it on my PC. So here is the code of that uh, very first example. So what is happening here? If we look into the imports, we have some imports which are related to Java FX, of course, because we want to create an application. And then we have some components for the scene and the stage. So these are two components which are responsible for showing a user interface uh, to your end user on their PC. Now the code is very simple. Um, because of the best practices which are uh, used in coding, we have some variables which are defined as static finals. That means that they won't change during the lifetime of the application and we separate them from the code so they become very easy to change later if you want to change the size of your application. So of course you can uh, also define them here, but as a best practice in coding, this kind of variables uh, magic numbers like some also call them, uh, they are kept separate from the code and they are defined uh, like this. And then we have this part of the code, which is all we need to show a graphical user interface. So we have this override here. Uh, that's uh, what is needed because we are using the application here. We extend from a Java FX application. And then uh, this part where we define the stage, the stage is what we put on the screen. Um, we give it a title, can be anything. We give it a scene. This is actually the content of what is being displayed on the stage. In this case, we also want to center it on the screen and we call the show command to show whatever we want uh, on the stage. And so the scene here, uh, the scene is where we also define the width and the height of what we want to display. And in this case, we are using a border pane. So it can be anything here, but let's just try what happens here. So if we run this now, you see that we have uh, an empty window. We have the title bar, introduction to Java FX. So that's what's defined here. And we have a border pane which is empty now at this moment because we didn't add anything. So let's try to add something here. Uh, the layout manager. In the center and let's add a new label and call it hello Java FX. So we need to import this label. Uh, watch out, so uh, a label is also uh, something which exists in other libraries. Of course, we need the Java FX label here. And if we run this again, then you see that we have the hello Java FX here. Now, a border pane is a component which is used in a lot of uh, applications and has a typical structure. So we can also uh, set left and have a button here and call it main menu. Again, here we have to import it, the Java FX button. You see that our imports has grown the list here. Okay, run it again. And you see that we now have a left column with the button and the content is here. So a border pane is uh, a component which can hold uh, different contents uh, and that you can use as a basic structure for your application. Uh, we will come back to that in a later tutorial. So this is the first part, a very quick start. Play a bit with what you have here as the border pane and the width and the height and the title. And then you will understand which is the minimal code that we need to run a Java FX application. 